Hi everyone, my name is Reed Walsh. I attended Grant Center for the Expressive Arts from 2006 to 2009. Hi everyone, my name is Olivia Berry and I attended Grant Center for the Expressive Arts from 2005 through 2008, my third through fifth grade years. Hello, my name is Hannah Carlson and I went to Grant Elementary from my kindergarten to fifth grade year. My name is Arlene Bokley. Um, I attended Grant almost 20 years ago now with my twin sister, Allison. Hi everyone, my name is Amara Gordon and I attended Grant Center for the Expressive Arts about 20 years ago. And it is crazy to even say that and I'm not sure where to begin. Hi everyone, my name is Addison Hornbeck and I attended Grant from kindergarten through fifth grade, which was roughly 2005 to 2010. Hi everyone, my name is Nancy Carlson and I went to Grant between the years of 2008 and 2012. Hi, my name is M. Caddy, and I went to Grant Elementary from 2002 to 2008. Hi, my name is Tiana. I attended Grant way back in Mrs. Halliday's very first year of teaching. Um, I was her first set of students. Hello, my name is Calhoun Helmberger, and I attended Grant from 2005 to 2009. Hi everyone, my name is Lauren Gallup and I attended Grant Elementary School from 2004 to 2011. My name is James Crick and I went to Grant Elementary School from 2002 to 2008. My name is Amanda Nixon and I will say that I absolutely love Grant Center for the Expressive Arts. Hello, my name is Sterling Mangan. I attended Grant from 2006 to 2012 and I know that my foundation for the love of arts really started at Grant. A true passion for acting and theater grew in me over my school career, and I can thank Grant for the for that, for it was the place where I first felt that artistic spark. I felt an incredible freedom at Grant to express myself. Um, I participated in the productions of the Tacoma Musical Playhouse that the school and the students and staff worked to put on. These were awesome experiences for me. And I remember it just being so impactful for me to be able to participate in these plays, make art, and interact with friends. So Grant was the first place that I ever learned about the arts in its, all its forms. Grant, to me, it was a place that I first was introduced to dance, which is currently and forever will be my passion. And I'm super grateful for that because I don't think I would have ever found that as soon as possible and knew that in fifth grade, I would have been like, that's what I want to pursue as my life career. Grant was instrumental in forming me into the person I am today, in giving me a community, a support system, and showing us all how important the arts are to our society. And I'm really grateful for that. Grant is the place where I was able to find and just like cultivate my two biggest passions in life. And they're still currently two of my biggest passions in life. Grant gives you a perspective that helps you become a more holistic person. You, you kind of don't realize what you carry on with you when you become an adult and I think Grant was a really incredible foundation for me to build off of um, moving into adulthood, which is, I mean, absolutely insane to think about that Grant was so long ago, but it doesn't feel like that at all. I really accredit Grant to where I am as an adult now. Grant has just made the best impact on my life. Grant's emphasis on the expressive arts and creative expression personally benefited me in many ways and I'm sure that it continues to benefit the other students that go there today. And so I'm just really grateful um, for all of my education experiences, but particularly Grant, I think it has a really special place in my heart. Um, and it's a really special and informative time. I felt like education was my calling because of the incredible educators that I had through Grant, because I saw what passion for education can look like, especially when you can integrate arts into the curriculum. I was really thankful for Grant for uh, teaching me about that creative process and to um, to value that in myself and to kind of always think creatively. Um, I'm pursuing my master's in piano performance and I'm loving every bit of it. 
I am now in a PhD program at the University of Massachusetts Amherst, where I study English, like I said, uh, with a particular focus on Renaissance literature, including Shakespeare, theater, and performance. I went on to pursue a degree in computer science from Dartmouth College in New Hampshire, and now I work as a product manager at Microsoft. I went to Bryant Montessori, and then I went to Stadium High School, and then I attended Gonzaga University, where I recently graduated with my Bachelor's of Business Administration last May, um, and have now begun my career, and I'm an agency recruiter, which has been absolutely incredible to help people find their dream jobs. Last minute in June, I was able to um, secure this internship with Fab Five, a local nonprofit on Hilltop, which actually is um is artist based just last week from recording this video i started my dream job at a wonderful company where i am the in-house lighting designer and i now travel up and down the state to create wonderful lighting designs for different types of concerts and shows i now live in the state of new hampshire i manage three pet stores which is about as fun as it would seem um, and so, you know, I studied journalism and I kind of fell in love and developed a passion for that in college. And I just graduated uh, in June 2021, so almost a year ago now. Um, and I'm really grateful to be working now for Northwest Public Broadcasting as a reporter uh, through radio. And I'm actually based in Tacoma. So I'm back in my hometown, which is really a wonderful um, place to be. And I think there's a lot of important stories to tell here um, and in Washington state. I have been living in Florida, working at Walt Disney World for five years now, just celebrated five years. And I really don't think that I would have grown into such a well-rounded and creative adult if it wasn't for Grant. I started at Grant Elementary School 20 years ago this year, and I've come back full circle to continue in education. I'm now a full-time high school teacher in the career and technical education department at Franklin Pierce High School. I am a dance major and I'm a senior currently. And next year I am, this upcoming year, I am going to London, which is um, the London Contemporary Dance School. And I get to pursue dance for another three years um, and get my bachelor's in it. So I am so grateful for it. Grant, it has been a part of my experience and it will be a part of my story forever. I am currently a seventh grade teacher. Um, I teach math in Royal City, Washington. Going to Grant and providing those resources to my students has been the most important and crucial part of my job currently. Um, in this district, there aren't arts. It's the kids have an option to take an elective of art. Um, it's not integrated into their daily lives like I was privileged to have when I went to Grant. Allowing the students to continue doing the arts in school is really the most important thing you guys can do. And I'm so grateful for the fact that I got to do all of this for free because it was through school. And I think that's really important to remember that keeping Arts in school means keeping arts accessible to all students, um, regardless of income. So I hope that you consider supporting Grant Center for the Expressive Arts this evening and consider supporting the arts community because it really is fundamental and very important to uh, children's learning and to society as a whole. So thank you very much for your time and I hope you have a good evening.